A former Tory minister accuses the government of not taking allegations of Islamophobia seriously. E News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good evening. It's been another difficult day for the Prime Minister after a Muslim MP claimed that she was sacked from her role partly because of her faith. Nusrat Ghani alleges when she lost her ministerial job in 2020, she was told her Muslimness had been raised as an issue. The government has denied the allegations but admitted she did meet with Boris Johnson to discuss what Number 10 called extremely serious claims. Our political correspondent Daniel Hewitt has the details. Mm, Dan, so just how damaging could this be? I think Lucrezia is already proving pretty hard. We said this has to be investigated properly. Again, note the word properly. That is really a claim that this hasn't been treated with. Waiting for his political life. He faces the threat of a vote of no confidence and therefore he needs every single backbench MP on his... All right, Daniel, for now, thank you. Now, in a highly unusual move, the Foreign Office has named Ukrainian politicians involved in a Russian plot to set up a puppet government in Kiev. Tensions are mounting as Russian forces continue to gather along several of UK's board, uh, Ukraine's borders. Our correspondent Dan Rivers has more. Here, four teenagers have been arrested after the fatal stabbing of a 16-year-old boy in Manchester. A woman has spoken of her relief at finally being able to contact her parents in Tonga. Sineva Felice lives in Wales and spent five days in a state of panic following the volcanic eruption and tsunami which struck the island nation. Lewis Warner reports. Football now and in the Premier League, Liverpool travelled to Crystal Palace hoping to close the gap on leaders Manchester City. Amy Lewis, watch the action. And finally, for nearly a decade, the song Let It Go from the film Frozen has been sung on repeat by fans around the world. But now there's a new Disney hit proving even more popular. Since the film Encanto was released last year, We Don't Talk About Bruno has slowly been climbing the charts. It's now number one. Well, Helen Keenan reports on why everyone is talking and singing about Bruno. And that is tonight's earworm. Uh, that is it. I'm back with the late news at 10. Until then, enjoy your evening. Bye bye. Hello again. The main headlines in London. A vigil was held today to mark the 18th birthday of a schoolgirl whose death was partly caused by breathing toxic air. Ella Kissy Deborah, who lived near the South Circular Road in Lewisham, died aged nine in 2013. Her mother has been campaigning ever since for cleaner, safer air for children in the capital. Anna Geary reports. Police in the US say they are treating the death of a Surrey scientist who was killed by a stray bullet in Atlanta as homicide. The 67-year-old man from South London who's being held in Iran on spying charges is going on hunger strike. And All right, let's get the day's sport now. All right, time for the weather now. Here's Amanda. And that is all from the London team for now. We are back in the morning. Until then, enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.